Okay, so I just got home and my son says it's here, my box. Let me see. <gasps> it's here. There it is. There's the box. It's huge. I didn't know it was going to be this big. So this is how I kept my jewelry. And there's a ton more. Um, and if you can look in these little pockets, there's just tons in there. And they're all just completely, completely tangled up. And they're just mixed and matched with everything. And some of this is my daughter's. Like that. That's not mine. And then I have the back side of it which again are full of all my jewelry that people have given me as gifts. Of course, none of them are real, but I love them anyway. I love all the little colors, but as you can see, they are just in there and I never get to wear a lot of them because I just can't get through all of it. So I'm so excited to be able to hang my brand new jewelry box on the door, just like this one. And I will show you what it looks like after. Okay, I'm gonna open the box and I'm gonna have my daughter help me out. like I need four um, where's my screwdriver and the four screws which are right here and then I need the double-sided adhesive which is right here and then I will need uh, one of the screws for the doorknob which is right here and I think the screw is already on the back of it and it comes with keys so I can lock up any of my cheap costume jewelry I'm going to do the over the door hooks which are right here so let me do that right now So I am here waiting for my son to get um, his car registered, I guess. Not registered, but um, 
in line for service. So now afterwards we're going to go take him to the gym and I think we're going to go to the mall. <laughs> she loves the mall. Um, but I think maybe I want to go to Burlington Coat Factory and get an umbrella because it's raining now. And after so many long months of drought in California, it's finally raining. And all four of my umbrellas have disappeared. I do not know oh, where they are. Here he comes. He just dropped off his car. Oh, wow, he's getting in the back seat. 307. 307 for what? Um, I'm due for inspection and maintenance on some other areas like brakes, and my brakes are squeaking, right, Danielle? Yeah. So wow. I said, so I just said, yeah, just do it. Might as well just pay for it. Why am I being recorded right now? <laughs> so we are going to go drop off my son to the gym. How long is it going to take? It's not just going to be an hour and a half. That's what they said. For real? Yeah. Okay, good. So we are going to drop you off, and then we are going to go somewhere for an um, hour and a half and then come back and get you and then drop you back off here okay so what I love about Burlington is they have so many choices for jewelry so Okay, so there were no umbrellas at Burlington, um, so we are on to our next place, but it's time to pick up my son. So we're just here for lunch. Um, today's my day off, and I'm having lunch with my daughter, Danielle. So heading back, probably just relax for a little bit before she has to go to her workout and um, so that's it I think I'll probably work on the jewelry box yay I Super love that excited. thing love that thing so I'm so excited about that yeah. okay so see you guys later bye, bye. mostly done. I do still have a bunch that are still tangled up, which I am going to have to unravel 
but I will do that later. Um, the other thing I noticed was that um, I was taking up um, two slots per earring, um, but you can actually double them up like I have here. And so what I was doing earlier um, was that I had two of them in a slot, but you can actually double up. And what you need to do is you just have to kind of bend it a little bit. So for example, um, so for example, this one, you're just going to have to bend it just a little bit like that. And then it fits right into the slot next to the other one. And so then you have twice as much space. Um, I did have um, some trouble with my bracelets. I didn't know where else to put it. So I just put it here. Um, I don't really like to hang the elastic ones because the elastic band tends to get weak, but um, for now it's okay. I might find like a little basket that might fit in here and just stick them in there. And so I have my other bracelets. I have some of my daughters in here too. And then these right here are her earrings that she likes to wear. She actually doesn't like to wear the long dangling earrings like me. Um, so those are hers. And then here are up here are where the rings are and my daughter's rings too and these are not real they're just for fun so um anyway i am so happy so i have them down here too um my necklaces and um so now hopefully i can actually wear them and without them getting into a big tangled mess so I still have the rest of my earrings. I can double up here. Um, I do have a bunch of them that are still somewhere else, which I know they're somewhere. I just don't know where they are. And this is my problem. So these were my, the jewelry that people give me, um, have given me throughout the years, probably 10, 15 years. I probably should go through them and just get rid of the ones that I just don't plan on wearing. Like, start from the 80s. I probably should wear those. <laughs> Although, some of them are coming back. So if you look at my huge hoop earrings, that was in, in the 80s. And so I'm still wearing them. I'm not sure if the really, really big ones um, still work. But um, I wear them once in a while. But for the most part, it is just so pretty to look at. I am just so happy. You know, when you look at something and it's super organized, you just it just, <gasps> just makes you so happy. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll put the link below in case you guys are interested in this incredible jewelry box with a mirror here, and then the front, and then the mirror right in the front, which is a full-length mirror. And I didn't have one in my room, so I'd always have to go in the hallway to, you know, see what my outfit looked like. So I'm so happy to have that. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.